We will be posing a query for the database to then save it and view the results on a web panel. The first thing we do is create an object of the query type. We want to see an analysis of the whole amount invoiced by country, by customer, and by date. For example, for a certain country, we could see the distribution of sales by client, and within a client, then see the distribution by invoice date. Prior to this, I have created the country transaction and assigned one country to each client. I also entered some more invoices to get a better idea of statistics here. So now we will put together the query to add the attributes of country name, client name, invoice date, and invoice total as a piece of data to accumulate. We can see that Genexus automatically assumed a sum function, that is, a cumulative function for the invoice total amount, since that is what will be accumulated to be shown on the report. Once we have created the structure, we can see the SQL sentence that Genexus will be sending to the database for the query to be executed. We also have a preview of the query. And we could see this query as a dynamic table, as it is here. We could also see it as a table. Or as a graph. Also, we could change the type of graph. Let's go back to the original view. We will now save it and create a web panel to enable us to view this query in our application. We create the web panel And to see the result of our query, the only thing we need to do is drag a control of the query viewer type to our web panel. Next, we will associate this control to the query we created previously. We execute. And here we have our sales web panel with the result of the query we made to the database. Let's take note of the data. Here we have the invoice dated 29th of April issued to Regina Madeira, John Smith's invoice, and Anna Justin's two invoices. Here we could, for example, filter for only one specific country to be shown or may take away one from the selection. And we can do the same with clients, as well as with dates. Also, instead of accumulating all amounts of invoices, we could have selected for an average to be calculated, or we can select account, minimum, or maximum. Instead of setting these indicators in rows, we could have shown them as columns. And that way the final user may change the appearance or the type of report that he prefers directly on our application. In just a few steps, we have created a query to the database that the user may change dynamically without the need for programming. This is how Genexus turns our programming task into a simple chore. In the upcoming video, we will be seeing the same application for invoicing to which we have added a little format.